tonight I am seeing Fish and Cat, which is the 10th film in the Sydney Film Festival competition. As a little tester, if you haven't picked up, I'm going to be filming the whole way there. So this film comes from Iran and it's just recently won the Innovative Award at the Venice Film Festival. Um, I know that's exactly what Sydney Film Festival are looking for in this year's competition is films that sort of think outside the box and I believe the style of the way and the way that this one's been shot definitely does that. interested to uh, see how they keep it dynamic. The problem sometimes with some of these films is the fact that you know you're watching the same frame for so long that it kind of get boring and uh, I'm hoping they've got some interesting ways to keep it dynamic. I am licked. traditional film. Um, he said it was a slasher film, but essentially no slashing it. It played with time, it played with different perspectives on the same thing. It, it was all one shot, which is, you know, very much top doing for doing that. Um, which meant there was a huge rehearsal process with it. But then the shoot, you were saying, was only two hours, or just over two hours, which was the length of the film. It was essentially just a series of vignettes on different characters that all have all intertwined. And I mean, taking it just at surface level or value like that, it's not exactly the most interesting thing. If you really enjoy your, your world movies, sure, but emotionally it wasn't very engaging, in my opinion. I don't really have much more to say about this, it's just a film that went for over two hours, it was one shot, and it finished with this type of music too.